How can we deny individuality? Look at all the individuals in this room. But then it's to understand, are we the clothes that we wear? Is that what defines us? Our dress? Well, I mean, it does to a certain degree, right? What you wear defines you. So you can say, yes, dress defines, but is, shall that be the exclusive marker for defining an individual, is how they dress? No, that, w that would be absurd to su suggest that. So if we look, be, that's literally closed. Then we're told, tamasa bohu rupena vesita karma hetuna. The body is karmic dress. Shall that be the means to define an individual? Well, no, it should be. We can't deny someone's a human being, someone's a dog, someone is a tree, right? So, and we're responsible for the karmic dress we're situated in at present. But if we limit defining ourselves to that, that would be as if to limit defining ourselves to the clothes that we're wearing. Why should we do that? So this simple type of analysis, you don't have to be a genius to follow this. So if it's, then, it's not the body that defines the self, atma, it's not the mind that defines the self or the intellect, where it, then we start approaching where the soul is located. So how that soul should proceed on the basis of their individual position, how should they make progress and move forward, where will they get that direction from? From their acquire, the acquired tendency they've have, the way they've been calibrated by their false ego and acquired prejudice and tendency to read environmental circumstances. Will that be the best way for them to proceed? I don't think so. Right? They're getting false readings. False ego means a false read of the environment <coughs> who you are and what your relationship is. That, uh, 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 for lack of uh, you know, a better word, it's unscientific. Right? It wouldn't be acceptable in science. You'd have to recalibrate. So spiritual culture is about recalibrating your position on the basis of your reality potential as a soul in self-expression a dedicating unit, a unit that's capable of dedicating every atom of its existence to something higher, not trying to devour, to acquire control and consume things which are lower to produce uh, satisfaction, but to dedicate oneself to something higher as a means of achieving self-fulfillment, self-realization, self-satisfaction.